This is Burmese Peridot straight out of the Magok Stone Tract. If you like that pure, vibrant apple green, only the Burmese Peridot can do it. And I tell you, the problem with the Burmese Peridot is it's always hazy. It has something like Ludwig needles. It has a lot of internal inclusions that block and obstruct fire and luster. But I collect the ones that are perfectly clean. That's why when you put a Cat Florence cut like this on them, they disperse like no other gem in the world. I can tell you, once you put this on your hand, all you're going to see is dispersion and fire. You got that amazing apple green color, that pop, that brilliance. You've got a carrot, well over a carrot and a quarter of D flawless diamonds around as well. Beautiful. I mean, that is a design. You wear that out at night. It doesn't matter if it's candlelight. It doesn't matter if it's daylight. It doesn't matter what it is. It's going to disperse. It's going to have fire. It's going to have brilliance and it's going to be a wow gem. Everybody is going to say that is amazing. What is that stone? And when you tell them that this is one of the rarest forms of peridot, this is in peridot that comes out of Arizona or peridot that comes out of China. This is peridot referred to as gem peridot. There's three gem peridots in the world. There's the gem peridot out of Magok. There's the gem peridot out of Zagabad, St. John's Island, which basically stopped mining in the 1950s. And then there's some peridot that comes out of the very high, you know, Himalayan mountain range at around five, six thousand feet as well that can compete. But those tend to have a lot more black needle inclusions within the crystal structure. So Magok peridot, very coveted, very, very collectible, and it disperses like no tomorrow.